Hey everybody, this is Dale with Networking Step by Step. And in today's video cheat sheet, we're going to be manipulating the OSPF cost between routers 2 and 3. Let's look at what we're going to do specifically. We're going to do some baseline show commands to see how router 2 and 3 want to get to one another to their loopback addresses. Then we're going to manipulate the, the interface cost on both ends uh, of the link and then we're going to do some verification show commands to see how the, the routing in the network has changed once the interface cost has changed. So let's look at the network topology. We have OSPF area 0 which router 2, 3, and 4 are a part of and we're going to be manipulating the interface cost on both ends of this link here between router 2 and router 3 and what we should see is as we manipulate the cost to get from router 2 to router 3's loopback address, it's, it's probably going to take a, another path, probably through router 4 and vice versa to get from 3 back to 2 as we manipulate the cost. It's probably going to take an alternate path depending on how much we manipulate it. So let's go ahead and get started. The baseline show commands that I would like to do on router 2 is show IP OSPF interface and then the interface on router 2 that connects to router 3 and then the show IP route for the loopback 3 address of 3.3.3.3 so let's put those commands in we see for router 2 to go out the interface that connects to router 3 is a cost of 10 then we come down here and look at the show IP route to get to the loopback address and we see that it's a metric or a cost of 11. Now you may be saying, no, wait, wait a minute, you said it was a cost of 10 to go out the interface and router 3 is directly connected to router 2. Well, let, let's add up all the costs. It's a cost of 10 from an OSPF perspective just to go out the interface. Once we get to router 3, 3.3.3.3 is on loopback 0, which is not a physical interface, it's a logical interface. So it adds an, another OSPF cost metric of 1 to get to the loopback address. So to get from router 2 to router 3 is the cost to go out its interface of 10, plus one more to actually get to the loopback address. So let's change, let's change the cost on the interface on router 2 to get to router 3 to 100. And then let's do the two show commands that we executed before and see what the network says now. So if you remember to get out this interface which is on router 2 to get to router 3 it was a cost of 10 and now we've changed it to a cost of 100. So the routing probably has changed to get from router 2 to router 3's loopback address it wanted to go out interface 01 right here. Let's see if that's changed. We did a show IP route for 3.3.3.3 and now the metric has changed from 11 to 21 and it wants to go out interface 02 which goes over to router 4. Now let's go take a look at router 3 and see if it feels the same way about how to get to router 2. So this is the interface between routers 2 and 3 and no, the, the cost is still 10 and it wants to go out the interface that's directly connected to router 2. Just because you change the cost on router 2, that's how to get out that interface on that router. So if you want to manipulate how router 3 gets back to router 2, then we're going to have to change this end as well. And we did. We change the cost to 100. So let's do the show IP OSPF interface command and the show IP route command that we executed before the change and see how things have differed. On the interface, we see we now have a cost of 100 when before we had a cost of 10. See right here. And then also, instead of going out interface 02, which, um, which, which was right here, to get to router 2, now that we've changed the cost and we've raised it, now the metric is 21 and it wants to go out Ethernet 01 which goes over to router 4. So that is how you manipulate the cost on an interface to change routing uh, between routers. I hope this has been helpful and uh, just be careful when you implement this because it will change uh, all the routing that goes out that router and for any other routers back behind it.